show you how to wire a digital dual display meter with independent power supply there are many videos on youtube showing how to wire this amp meter but i'll be making a simple tutorial in showing you how to wire this meter the input voltage is from 4.5 to 30 volts which means it would come on or it would be able to support 4.5 to 30. if you go in above 30 you would need to do some other modifications but for now i'm sticking to the 4.5 and 30. This dual voltmeter is a 5 wire meter. These are the wires uh, positive and negative, the measuring wire and the amperage measuring wire. The meter has its a built-in shunt right here these ports here are adjustable ports that's if you put power to this and whatever voltage you get here and you hook up a multi-purpose meter which is a, a digital meter like this or anything better than this one because this is a cheap meter you check what voltage you get in here on this meter and the other meter and if it's not in sync then you will turn this knob right here to get it in sync with your meter this here is the amperage port if you know what amps whatever you working with draws and you notice it doesn't match here then you calibrate it here now to hook, hook up the meter on the independent power supply um, i'll be using a 9 volt battery this is my schematic or diagram your 9 volt battery the power from your meter which is your red wire connect to the red to the plus sign of the battery the negative side of the battery would go to your power supply that that's an independent power supply this one is only to power up the meter this power supply you'd be using to power up whatever load you'd be using it on so the red wire which is a red thin wire goes to the positive side of your battery the black thin wire would be connected to the negative side of your power supply the red wire which is a thick red wire would connect to the negative side of your load your black wire your thick black wire would connect to the negative side of your power supply your power supply positive side would connect to the positive side of your load together with your sense wire with all that said let me demonstrate
you connect that's the supply end you connect red to red thin red then you connect black to black now you could also connect it this way you connect your connection and you power up your meter your meter lights up then this is your sense this is your load you connect this together after you connect your sense wire to the positive side of the loader then you'll take the positive end of your power supply and you'll connect it to your sense wire the red wire would be connected to the negative that's the thick red wire would be connected to the negative side of your power supply try to keep the wires away and then your negative wire which is your thick black wire and the negative connection would be connected to the negative side of your power supply then you power up this is it if I turn down the voltage of my power supply you notice it's going down on the meter You could wire this dual voltage meter with an independent uh, power supply. If you find this video is helpful, please like, subscribe, 
and click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos everything i use in this video i put in in the in the link in the link below if you buy uh, from me i'm an affiliate from amazon i'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you in the next video i'll show you how to wire this same meter on this power supply you'd be using it on it wouldn't be an independent power supply there are two ways of wiring it either if you have the power supply you're using it if it has an independent or uh, yes an independent 5 volt like a computer power supply it depends on what you're making with it or if not you would have to put a converter buck converter in it to get your 5 volts to power your digital meter this is it for now until the next one peace Let it go, uh, you decide if you ever go